in California in the West. Births dropped by a huge 19% in December from a year earlier. Then there's this article in France 24 reporting a sharp decline in birth during lockdown there. It calls it a baby drought. Some experts did predict this. This London School of Economics research back in June concluded there's no evidence of a COVID-19 baby boom in Europe, but there is a bust. So let's understand what's going on here. Philip Cohen is a sociology professor at the Maryland University. He's with us from Washington. Thanks very much. Uh, for joining us. So why were people's expectations so off? Why is the why has the birth rate gone down rather than up? Well, um, the, the short answer is the birth rate goes down during disasters. Um, this one is a little bit different because it involves people um, being stuck at home. Um, but even if we got a tiny bounce from just people being stuck together, that's not really the way births happen anymore in modern society. We have contraception, we have planning. Um, so people who are planning their births are likely to hold off. And we also have fewer unintended pregnancies if people are meeting less, interacting less, uh, getting married less, and so on. And help me understand the, the human calculation of choosing not to have a baby during a disaster of any type. Well, on the on the deliberate side, you can imagine people um, just being not ready to make a long term, essentially an indefinite commitment during a period of extreme uncertainty. I mean, if you don't know where you're going to be living and your income, your health status, your relatives health status, um, your schooling and all the things that go into people's calculations, any kind of uncertainty leads people to pull off from the things they have control over. But this pandemic is a different type of disaster, isn't it, to, to others that, that viewers may be thinking of. Have you noticed any patterns unique to COVID-19? Well, um, it was a very sudden, um, uh, uh, there was a very sudden uh, change in people's behavior patterns. And so um, we would expect to see the sharpest effect on birth rates right about now, December, January, February, if it takes people uh, a couple of months to get pregnant. Um, what we don't know is, will this be more like a one-time shock, like a hurricane or an earthquake where there's a, there's a quick rebound back to a so-called normal, or where this is something more like the Great Recession, where we still have not gotten back to the birth rates, uh, at least in the U.S., that we had before that big recession. And presumably some of the dynamics you're describing become intertwined with much longer-term dynamics where the birth rate in the West is, is generally going down anyway. Yeah, so actually that's one of the things that was has been tricky about looking at this data is we started seeing declines in births in June and July and August, which seemed had people scratching their heads a little. So we may already have been moving in the direction of uh, declining births, like you say, as we had seen. And so you can't, in this kind of uh, situation, you can say, well, this decline is for that reason and this is for that reason. It'll take longer to sort it out in the research, but I think it's pretty clear that we're in at least a short-term period of a pretty steep decline in births. And finally, I, I suppose the other question in my mind is, as this pandemic goes on and it stops being a novel experience, it becomes an, a, a normal-ish experience in that it's the one we've known for some time. Is it more likely that people would choose to have children because in the medium term, at least, we may be living like this? Yes. Well, I would expect that people who are especially in the middle age range in their 30s, say, who are in long-term relationships and were planning to have children, they may be getting their um, decision-making in order and deciding that they can't wait any longer and they may as well go ahead. But we're still going to see that sort of that social metabolism is still much slowed. So we still have um, a delay in people meeting and falling in love and getting married or living together and all of those things that lead to the decision to have children and that stuff where there's no way we have caught up with it yet. Mm -hmm. And we're probably going to see that dragging on in terms of the, the effect on fertility. How 